This lecture is about factoring binomials that have the form a squared plus b squared and a squared minus b squared. So these are the sum and the difference of two perfect squares. Here are our formulas. a squared minus b squared factors as a plus b times a minus b. So the reason for that is that when we do FOIL on a plus b times a minus b, what do we end up getting? So when we do the first, we'll get a squared. And then when we do a times negative b, we get negative ab. And then when we multiply these two inners together, we get a positive ab. And then when we multiply the last together, we get negative b squared. So these two middle terms cancel out and give you zero, and so this is just a squared minus b squared. So that's why we get this formula that we have here. And this is very common. You'll see this factoring a lot, and so you should um, recognize that fairly quickly. When we have a squared plus b squared, it's prime and it does not factor. So if we had something like x squared plus 16, this will not factor. So there's no way for us to factor 16 so that the sum would give us the middle term, which really here is like having a 0x in there. And so there's no way to factor 16 so that the sum will give us 0. Um, the factors of 16 would be 1 and 16, 2 and 8, and 4 and 4. And you can't add any of these combinations together to give you 0. Okay, so our first example here is x squared minus 81. So we're using the formula from up above, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So notice that if we take the square root of a squared, we get a, and if we take the square root of b squared, we get b. So that's basically what we're going to do. And so the square root of x squared is x, and then it's plus, and the square root of 81 is 9. So that's our first factor, and our second factor is going to be the same, except for with a minus sign in the middle, so that'll be x minus 9. In our next example here, 25x squared minus 64, so we're going to take the square root of our first thing, and the square root of 25x squared is 5x, and then it's plus the square root of our second thing there, square root of 64 is 8, so that's going to be 5x plus 8. And then the same thing, only with a minus sign in the middle, so 5x minus 8. In our next example, 20x squared minus 45y squared. So we can't take the square root of 20, and we can't take the square root of 45. But 20 and 45 do have a common factor. The factor that they have in common is 5, so we're going to factor a 5 out first. And so we're going to divide each of these by 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4, so we'll have 4x squared minus 45 divided by 5 is 9, so that'll be 9y squared. Now we can take the square root of 4x squared, and we can also take the square root of 9y squared. So we can factor this. It's the difference of two perfect squares. So it's going to be 5 times the quantity. The square root of 4x squared is 2x. And then plus the square root of 9y squared is 3y. And then rewrite this only with a minus sign in the middle, so 2x minus 3y. And our last example here, 9x squared plus 4y. Because this is plus, this is prime and does not factor. So remember, if you have the sum of two perfect squares, it does not factor. And we say that that's prime then when something doesn't factor. And when you have the difference of two perfect squares, it does factor. This ends our lecture in factoring the sum and difference of two perfect squares. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.